Hey guys, we're back with another video. Have you ever wondered how to get your microphone, your music, and your Discord audio in three separate controls? Well, this video, we're going to show you how. By no means, I'm an expert in voice meter and audio engineer, but I've been using this product for a few years now. It's awesome to get things in separate tracks. So obviously your microphone is one. You can get your music in another one, and then you can get your Discord or whatever other chat you use to to talk with your friends like team speak things like that so those will be in two separate controls for your obs or for your streamlabs obs whatever whatever program you're using so we're going to start with obs that's what i use obviously it's going to be same thing very similar thing with streamlabs obs but we're gonna we're gonna show you what i do with with obs here but first things first Open your browser. You're going to have to go download Voice Meter Banana. Voice Meter Banana download. We're just going to be playing with Banana. So go ahead and download Banana. You can do the exe file here. We're also going to need, as you see here, it's called a cable output, the VB virtual cable. So we're going to open up a new tab and Google vb virtual cable let me spell virtual correctly and you're going to click the top link the the vb audio virtual apps all these links will be in the description to help you guys out and you're just going to download the driver pack 43.zip unzip that okay after you download and get them installed it's going to need a reboot after each installation so install voice meter banana first reboot install the the virtual uh, cable reboot and then we're going to come back the hardware input go ahead and choose your microphone i'm using a yeti so we can right click it and just call it microphone then the second option right click rename it music we're going to make that one your music you're going to choose the wdm cable output and then as you see these virtual inputs over here, we'll just leave it on the recommended and we're gonna call this Discord. That's how I that's how I have it. I use that for Discord and I have my music coming through here. So next we're gonna open Discord. Once Discord opens, go ahead and hit your user settings. Come to voice and video. You're gonna change your input device. We're going to voice meter output for the microphone. And for the default output device, you're going to change that to the voice meter aux input. Voice meter aux input. Just like that. You can do your mic test. Let's check. Testing, testing, testing. 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 You can see that. And then also, you see that bar bouncing for the automatically determined input sensitivity. You can leave that on or off. It doesn't really matter. I'll leave it on because it's Discord. We're going to escape, and then now your settings are saved. And then next step for your music, depending on what client you're using, if you're using it from the web, the Amazon Music Client, the Pandora Music Client, Spotify, it doesn't matter. I'm, I use the Amazon Music, which is right here. We're going to launch that. Okay. So choose your station. Come to this, at least in the Amazon client, come to the speaker. And look at that. It's already set to the cable input as the, the default. So that's already set there. You would do the same thing for Spotify, Pandora. And if you're having issues with that, leave a comment below. And we can make another video on how to get around that if you're having issues. The cool part about voice meter banana, you can do these in telepan. You can set a limiter. So obviously, there's a limiter on my voice. I have a gain set as well. So for the, the cable or your music, you can change your decibels up and down. You can add a gain. You can add a compressor. You can add depth. Then same thing here with Discord. You can here's your equalizer, your treble, and your bass. 
you can adjust all of that if uh, you want to add a little bit more base to your guys' uh, Discord chats while you're, you're, you're content creating. You can do a fader for the front or the rear. The most important part of this, so you can hear everything in your ears. Everything in your ears. Up to the A1, and this is where you're going to set your WDM Set it to your speakers because that's going to be your headphone jack. That's what I use. Or if you're using a wireless headset, you would set it to the wireless headset here. And then for your windows, we're going to change this to the same thing. We're going to change that to match what you have up here. We're going to match that. That's very important, very imperative, because if you don't, then it's not going to work. Those have to be matching, have to be. And then you're going to select A1 on each one of these. We're not using this one, so we're going to unselect that. We're not using that one, so we're going to unselect that. These are the only ones we're using. We're using microphone A1. We want, so that's for your monitor. We want to hear the microphone in our ears so we make sure we can, we can hear ourselves and we're not coming in staticky or choppy. But your content creation isn't going to hear that, that stereo or that duplication of the sound. Music, same thing, A1. So it's going through your monitor. And Discord, A1, so you're going through your monitor. That way you can hear everything through one headset. One headset, separate tracks. That's this part. So now, tricky part is getting it in OBS. Go ahead and close this because we're done with that. And we're back. So once you get that in your OBS, once you have OBS open, I'm an idiot. But anyway, so as you see, we already have music input. So you would do audio output capture. As you see, I already have two set, but we're going to leave that there. This is going to be for our Discord, so we're going to choose the voice meter aux input. Voice meter aux input. And that's where we can rename. We'll name it that just so it doesn't get pushed off. So we got Discord 01, and then we do have the music. So we're going to change the properties here and set this to the cable input. Now you have both of those set. So if you go into Discord and you start your chat, you'll see the bar moving up and down. And then same thing with your music. Let's launch Amazon Music. And we'll give you a little preview. And now you see we have music playing below. Coming through here. Music is bouncing right there. And that's how you have in separate tracks. Hope you found this video helpful. Like, subscribe, tell your friends. If you have any questions, hit me up in the comments below. If not, we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for checking out the video.